Hey guys, my name is Ricardo da Costa and I'm an instructor with Red Hat Training. This is Red Hat High Availability Clustering. This is for those of you who need to take a service like a web server for example and you need to make it highly available so that if one node that is hosting your web services software goes down, it carries on running throughout your cluster. So what we do is that inside the vote quorum block of chorusing.conf, we enable a special directive called two node mode. So we're enabling two node cluster mode. And this means that the expected vote count is brought down to just one. And this means that your cluster remains operational. You can continue providing services with only one of the two nodes online. So without quorum, those two nodes will decide that uh, nodes A, B, and C have all failed and they instead need to be fenced off. Why? So that those resources can be recovered. So the resource in question is that nodes D and E are trying to recover that ext4 based file system because according to nodes D and E, node A has failed. It's unresponsive. And now what it wants to do is that, let's just say node D comes along and it says, all right, we have the shared storage. I can still access the shared storage and um, the, the node D and E portion of the cluster attempts to mount that ext4 based file system. And let's begin. So we're told to install the necessary software for clustered LVM. So this involves us installing DLM and we are going to be installing at the same time uh, LVM2 dash cluster. Once this is done, we're going to change the locking type to three and we are going to be disabling the use of the LV meta daemon. To do so, we can use one nifty command and that is LVM conf dash dash enable dash cluster. And that'll take care of that for us. Next, we are going to stop the uh, LV meta daemon by saying systemctl stop LVM2 LV meta daemon. 